Hi, I'm Sean Lee with SpaceFab. And today I just wanted to talk to you about one of the main components of our spacecraft, and that's the laser communication system. This is how we'll get the data that uh, you or uh, anyone requests back down to the Earth. So if we're talking to the satellite, we have communication uh, antennas over here, and therefore using the Global Star network to upload commands. But that network can only upload commands very slowly in, in the kilobaud rate. Um, so we'll just be uploading things like, you know, turn right, turn left, go to the spot, that kind of thing. It's not enough data to download images, and especially with our 48 me megapixel uh, imager, that's going to be a lot of data down to download. So we'll actually have two lasers, as you can see right here on our um, engineering model, we have one laser there. Uh, the second laser will be on the other side, uh, and that's just a, a redundancy thing. Um, so what we'll have is our ground stations, which will be 14-inch uh, telescopes on the ground. And when they know the satellite's coming over, they will get into position and aim where the satellite will be when it rises. They will actually set up a 5-watt reference laser, which this telescope will look down and find that laser that's coming up. Once it locks onto it, then we'll emit a 3-watt laser back down to the ground and transmit our data. And we believe we can get at least 10 to 20 megabits per second um, and 7 or 8 minutes on each pass. And we can do uh, one pass per ground station per day. So we'll have two ground stations to start with, so that's um, two download sessions uh, per day, which should be enough to download uh, all the data that we take um, for that whole day. And as we build more satellites, we'll put more ground stations to increase capacity. Now the advantages uh, to laser communications um, are that we can get really in uh, high bandwidth or uh, throughput, and we don't have to pay um, $650,000 for a radio license, which is you know, about half the cost of our satellite. So that uh, doesn't seem like a worthwhile venture. In addition, when we start going out into the deep uh, solar system, like we go to asteroids uh, and farther out, we're, laser communications are the only way we're going to get real data back. Um, if you look at the baud rates for, say, the Cassini mission, you know, we're talking 400 uh, baud, some ridiculously low bandwidth. It takes a long time to get images or data back. So we want to increase those speeds by using lasers. And lasers use a lot less energy to transfer a lot more data. So, um, and our, this spacecraft, for now, will just be transmitting the data one way. Um, although we have the main mirror, we could receive data. Um, but our first spacecraft, we're trying to keep the complications uh, to, to a minimum to make sure everything works. You know. um, on future spacecraft, we'll, we'll probably have two-way communications. But on this one, uh, any upload will be done through the Global Star Network, and all the downloads will be done by laser, all the data downloads. So, um, okay, and that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful in explaining our laser comm system. Thank you, and have a great day.